Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to deploy your own TensorFlow and Keras model that you have trained on Python into the web. So this is so cool because as you know, TensorFlow and Keras is proprietary to Python. So being able to convert it to JavaScript and deploy it on the web is so fascinating. So allow me to demonstrate how it works. So I just deploy it into this link over here. Okay, so for this project I've done it before in my channel. So I use, I actually train a mass detection model on Python. So today I have actually deployed it on JavaScript on the web itself so that anyone can access it easily. So you can see the model is showing me no mask and when I wear a mask over here, it turns green. So with this, let's continue to the tutorial. Okay, so a lot of people ask, why do you want to deploy your model on the web? Since I can do it on Python, isn't it good enough? So the reason why you want to deploy your model on the web is really for accessibility because just with a single link, people are able to assess your trained model and able to deploy it in their area of interest. And next, you actually decentralize the data processing. So you actually reduce the burden on your servers because now all this heavy lifting are done in the client side. And lastly, due to the mobile penetration, many of us are using phones in our daily life. So being able to deploy your train model on mobile phones or on the web it increases your use cases exponentially. Okay, so how does it work? So there's two parts to deploy your train model on the web. So first, you need to convert your Python model to JavaScript. So this is the first part. And next, you need to deploy your JavaScript model to the web. So for this tutorial, I'll teach you how to do it on your local server. So let's go through the first part where we train, save, and convert your Python model into JavaScript. So as you can see from the high level overview, here we will be training our model using a TensorFlow and Keras and saving it into a .h5 file. And lastly, we will use TensorFlow.js, which is a Python library to convert the .h5 file into .json. As you know, uh, JSON stands for JavaScript object notation so it's actually in javascript format which the web is able to digest so before i continue on to the tutorial here are some of the prerequisites that you should have before continuing first you should have anaconda and python 3.6 or 3.7 installed and next you need to download all these python packages if not it won't work and lastly download my source code from my github website over here and the link will be down the description box below. Okay, first, um, let's go to my GitHub repository and download the code. So it's very simple to download. Just go to this website and click download zip file. Okay, so once you have done downloading, um, go to the mask detection folder and go to this train mask detector.py file. So from here we will be able to train our model and get the dot h5 file. So over here you'll be able to see the train mask detector. So you just open up your favorite IDE. Okay, so once your IDE has loaded, open up this file train mask detector.py so for this one uh, you'll be able to train your own mask detection model so the important part about this is this feed function so this feed function will actually train your model based on the created data set that you have so you just need to click run and it will train itself so it will take some time to train it took me about two hours Okay, so once it's completed, you actually save your model into a .h5 file. So over here, you'll be able to see where the model is saved to. So for myself, the model is saved into model mask underscore model dot h5. So it's over here. So that's great. 
Now we need to convert our .h5 model into .json using the tensorflow js underscore converter to convert the .h5 model into a .json model. So it's very simple. Just open up your ID or maybe a notepad. So you just copy and paste this thing in. Okay, so very simple. The input format is Keras. There are a few uh, input format. So allow me to show you. So for today, our input format will be .keras. There's actually other input format like TF Safe Model, TF Frozen Model, TF Session Bundle, and TF Hub. So uh, this tutorial will also work for those people that's looking for other input format as long as it's TensorFlow or Keras. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to insert the path to H5. So the path to H5 is very simple, it's over here. Just that at the back, you need to add mask underscore model dot H5. Okay, so this name, right, it depends on this file that has been created. It may be different from, from yours. Okay, so next is the output directory. So for my case, I'll be putting it in the same folder over here. Okay, so I'll be pasting it in the same folder. So once it's done, open up your Anaconda prompt. Okay, activate the environment that you have downloaded the TensorFlow.js. For myself, I created this data science environment. So once it's done, for now, you can see that the model, right, the model fo folder, there's only mask underscore model dot h5. So after I run this code, so after running this code, you'll be able to see this model dot json appearing. Okay, so good job. You have finally converted your model from Python to JSON, which is digestible for web application. So now what we need to do is to deploy your JSON model into the web. So how to do this? Okay, so now for the part 2 of tutorial, I'll teach you how to load your JSON model into the web. So for this tutorial, I'll teach you how to load it into your local server over here. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to load your JSON model. So how to do this is very simple. Just go back to your model.json. Just copy this. And go to web demo. Go to setting. And go model. So for here, you see this model.json. Replace it with your own train one. So just replace in destination. So once it's replaced, it's good to go. Now, if you go back to a slide, you need to go back to the index.html. So you open up your index.html. The first thing you need to import is the TensorFlow model. So these two lines are very important. Next, you need to load your model. So it's all the way down over here under the setup page. So for here, I will load my model, my mask detection model. Okay, so it's very simple. So I just follow my path directory is in static models and model.json so it's correct it's under static models and model.json so you can see other than loading this model i actually loaded another model called blaze face so this is actually a face detection model so actually i need two models to allow this application to work so if you want to know more, you can go back to my mass detection model video in my channel. Okay, so with this, now it's time to start our own local server. So what you need to do is to open up your ID again. Open up this folder inside web demo. So you will see web underscore main dot py. So open this up and press start for. Okay, so once you have started, you will be able to see the mass detection model being loaded on your web. So you can see it's actually working. So now I'm not wearing any mask. Now I'm wearing mask. So you can see the difference. Okay, so for this tutorial, you have successfully deployed your model on your local server. So for the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to deploy it on the web, on a public domain so that anyone with the link 
can access your website. So with this, I have come to the end of the tutorial. If you like my video, do remember to subscribe, like and share my video. Thank you for your time.